In this video, we will demonstrate ForcePoint's Web Security Cloud Advanced Malware Detection feature, better known as AMD. We will show how to configure, test, and report on the file sandboxing capabilities. Enjoy! The first thing we will do is confirm that you are licensed for the Advanced Malware Detection feature. For this, we will navigate to the Account Licenses page where you will see that the Advanced Malware Detection feature for Web has a green check mark next to it, meaning that you are licensed for the feature. From here, we will enable the AMD feature. For this, we will navigate to Web, Settings, File Sandboxing. On this screen, we will turn the File Analysis slider to On and enable all of these checkboxes. In this text box, we will input the email address of the admin or admins that you want to receive the notifications and reports when the AMD feature triggers. Then we will click save. Now that the AMD feature is enabled, let's go and test. Here we are on the client machine on a website called URL house. We will click through some of these links, which are all newly emerged malicious links. And we will click on them until we find one that triggers the file sandbox. Let's go back to the cloud portal to see if any of these triggered the AMD feature. Once we are back in the portal, we will navigate to Reporting, Transaction Viewer. Your report might not look the same as the one here, but you can simply add the action attribute and the file sandbox status attribute to the body of the report to see similar results. On this report, there is one file that was marked as malicious, which means that it did trigger the advanced malware detection and that file was sandboxed. When we click on that transaction, we can see at the bottom the name of the file, and under the status we can see that it was malicious. Next to the status, we can see the View Report button, which when clicked on, will show us the AMD report. This report lists all of the details relating to what the file does and how it infects the target system. Thanks for watching this ForcePoint Quick Tips video. If you found this helpful, then please hit that like button and feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. If you have ideas for other videos or topics that you would like to see, please leave a comment and we will add it to our queue. See you next time.